Sports yeah. Shoes and Adidas sponsoring this event. They put up a terrific prize purse, thousand pounds for the winner. Eyes will be on Callie Thackeray. She won't have it all her own way. Reve, Wolfgang Nolan, Olympian, over the 1500 meters, also set to be down in this one. Amy Griffiths, Beth Kidger, and they're off. Away they go. They'll be closing us down. They've got 400 meters or so before they get to. They're going to run past the finish into the bandstand. Up front it is. I mentioned her before, right on the start line. It is Callie Thackeray. Megan Davies on her shoulder. Reve, Wolfgang Nolan as well. Just going to come alongside. The lead bike. It's good running from these ladies. Like I said, the course record at 15.50. Kelly Thackeray's personal best is 15.02. She was sixth in the European Championships is in the summer on the track. And here they are, your lead three. They're not messing about tonight. I wondered if it was going to be a cagey affair, if they were just going to sneak inside that course record. The reason why I keep mentioning it, it's 500 pounds for the course record, extra cash on top of the thousand pounds prize money for the win. 300 for second and 200 for third as well. It goes all the way down to 10th for these women. So there's a reason to keep battling for the minor places as well. And here we are coming up to the first turn. So they've had best part of about six, 700 meters of a straight before they hit this first left-hand turn. And we're gonna swing by. Cali Thackeray has already got 10 meters or so on Rebe, Walcott Nolan. And Mega Davies in there. L20 in the field as well. Georgie, Georgie Gregg, fresh off a Surrey League win on the weekend, is Georgie Gregg, the Herne Hill Harry up. So look out for her. But Callie Thackeray striding out ahead. She's fresh off a warm weather camp as well. And there you can see just the gap up close on these ladies. Mega Davies just slipping in behind. Reve, walk on Nolan. 920 indoors for her early in the year at Sheffield. Coached by partner Dale Clutterbakes, a terrific job. Got her to the Tokyo Olympic Games as well. I'm sure she's got one eye on the summer on Budapest, of course. And these athletes are the athletes perhaps you'd expect to see indoors. British champs tomorrow, over maybe 1,500 or 3,000 meters, but they're here tonight. And there could be one reason. It could be that prize purse as well, testing their legs over 5K. And also we are still well into the winter. February the 17th, podium under lights 5K at Battersea Park. However, you wouldn't think it's February. It's a mild evening here, 12 or so degrees after a blustery day. A few trains canceled if you're coming from up north. But it's calmed down here in Battersea Park. And look at this, full stride, Callie Thackeray. All out on her own. She's gapped the others. She didn't want them sitting on her. She didn't want to be hanging around too much. She's hungry to get back on course. We haven't seen a whole lot from her this winter so far. Reve Walcott Nolan, if I just pan back, she's gapped Megan Davies, who's now going to be on her own. She's just come off the back of a brilliant run out in Armagh. She was third there against the likes of Alex Bell. She ran 9.13 over 3K. And there is Reve, full stride. Lovely flowing action. Megan Davies just behind her as well. Sail Harrier. Made great strides forward recently, 4.15 last year at the British Champs. She's knocking on the door, that kind of 4.10 mark now as well, knocking on the door. She's making finals. She's just that little step away from perhaps sneaking a podium spot as well. So and there she is in third place. I'm just trying to pan back behind as well. So we've got a hoker at there. But it's these three away and gone. And I must say up at the front then, We've got Reve Wolfgang Nolan. She's just closing in on Kelly Thackeray a little bit. And we could have a two lady race now. She's run some fast park runs, as Reve. She's run 16, just outside 16 minutes over 5K. Now at the Dulwich Park run a few weeks ago. So she's in shape over the longer stuff. An 8 of 15 girl, she does winter well. But look at this. We're talking five or so meters. So Thackeray now has company. Just around about this time last year, she was inching towards that 5k 15 26. Terrific run she ran, it kind of kick started her career almost, if you like. And she then decided, I'm going to put the marathon on the back burner and attack the 5,000 meters. And there she was, she represented GB at the European Championship. She went to the Commonwealth Games as well. The terrific athlete missed out on the world championship. She's going to be hungry to make that team. Partner Sam Harrison, 
believe, out in Dubai this weekend as well. So that's who she was training with in the warm weather camp. But this is a game of cat and mouse now. And he's got Reve five or ten meters back. She can almost hear her breathing or so. But Kali Thackeray looking very smooth up front. We're not far off this first lap. We've done the back straight, if you like, if you think of it in a 400 meter track. These two all out front on their own. And it's going to be interesting. For the win, there's a difference of 700 pounds. And for the course record, there's an extra 500 thrown in as well. And we probably expect these ladies to get both. Well, only one can win, of course. But you bet your life they're going to be operating a roundabout. We'll get a better, indi better indication of what kind of pace they're running. Just pan a little bit further back then. You start to see Megan Davies has just slipped back to fourth place. We've got a little grip. I believe that's Beth Kidger, the Hoker athlete in there as well. So she's there. So there's a little crop of three of them or so. And that is Georgie Greck in third. I mentioned her, Surrey League win as well. As we just go up front to see what's going on. Reve is almost pulling alongside Callie Thackeray at the moment, but it's Georgie Gregg, Megan Davies, Beth Kidger. And they're all inside 16 minute runners. I mean, Megan Davies has had a terrific race last weekend in Armand 913 amongst the podium spots there. But here we go, these are the two to watch Reve, Walcott Nolan, and Callie Thackeray. It's been like this now for the whole lap after the initial gap that Callie got straight away. She had a fast start, she had a fast half a mile or so. It was just closed back up by this young lady, this young lady Reve, Olympian over the 1500 meters. And look at this thing. We're going to come around. We'll get it. We'll get an idea of what that first lap was because they're going to have a lap to go or so. So we're probably looking just under a mile and a half. We've got 11 minutes. So on the clock. Under the lights, podium under the lights, 5K. Fantasy Park, we're going to go back past the DJ as well. This is where the atmosphere is. They're going to need it. It's a quiet back stretch. They're going to come past their friends and family. They would have took a little glance at their watch and know what they're on for. And I believe the 3K mark has been and gone. And here we go. Who's going to make the move then? Virtually neck and neck now. The gaps have been closed. World strength win over speed. We're about to find out over the next couple K or so. And I can confirm Georgie Greck has just gapped Megan Davies in fourth. So she looks like she's got a little gap for third place. She's looking at 200 pounds for her efforts tonight. If she can maintain it, of course. The win is a thousand. Second 300. Here we are as we take this turn. Looking very smooth is Georgie Greck. She's in good form. She might have one eye on the National Cross next weekend as well. Terrific running. It's a fairly local race for her. Lots of cottage runners. Not implying Georgie is cottage, but a lot of cottage athletes representing here tonight as well. Here we go. Some great side on shots. She's getting good support out here at Georgie Greck. The Hernhill Harrier. And a lovely track smith singlet as well. So, and now here we go up at the front as we just get round this turn. We can keep one eye on the two leaders. It's been like this for a little while now. So we just accelerate the battle for fourth by uh, Davies and Kidger. What can they do on the turn? Amy Griffiths in sixth place as well. So here we are. You can see the kind of gap, the margin we're looking at. These two up front, they're now neck and neck. And this, a little bit of cat and mouse going on. I wonder who is going to take it, who's feeling the better of the two. Cycling right next to alongside them. And uh, both of them barely breathing at the moment. And we've got to be looking at almost a K or so to go. I've got just over, I think the clock at the lap. When we came round for that first lap was well wrong. I've got about 11 minutes or so on my stopwatch. 
think we've just gone past the 3k marker as well. So that's what pace we're operating at. Cali Thackeray and Reve Walcott Nolan. Here we are on the straight now. The pedestrians don't quite know what they're witnessing. The magic in Battersea Park tonight. Here we are. So 10 meters or so. It was this time on the previous lap, but now they're neck and neck. As we come past the Astro Turf, and when they make that last turn, it's gonna be a big sprint finish. We're gonna get a very, very special climax to this race. One has Olympia pedigree, the other is chasing Olympic pedigree. A 5K personal best of 15.02 for Kali Taku. Like I said, she was trained under the watchful eye of Nick Badeau through COVID coming out. She then ran some terrific performances over in Australia around about this time last year in March. And she then came home, struggled to find a coach, struggled to find a professional contract as well. But Vince Wilson took her under his wing alongside Sam Harrison, of course, and those two have been training together ever since. And now here she is. Reve is well known in these parts. She often comes down here to train. I believe that's Dale as well. Chinner on, on the sidelines there. And his advice is just sit there, Reve. Here we go then. Who's looking the better out of the two? Stride for stride. It doesn't get much better than this, I must admit. Athletes just going at it. This is pure. This is raw. This is 5,000 meter running in London in one of the most famous parks across the world. The power station lit up behind us. And these ladies will soon see the tall power station actually to their right hand side. I'm not sure they'll be paying much attention to that at all. And they're gonna hear a little bit of noise as we just go round the outside of the pond. They're gonna hear the noise levels just raise a little bit. We're around about 13 minutes on the clock. So that indicates we've probably got about two and a half minutes of running left. I wonder how Thackeray is shaping up as she was uh, 9, 12, she ran out in Armagh, which would indicate something around about 15, 20 if she carried that pace going, but that's to say if she carried it on. So. Has she come on since then? 10 or so days later. And of course, as these ladies approach the finish, we will give a quick credit to Ben Nolan and Keith Schofield putting this on. Look at this thing. Is that a gap? Is that anything significant? Walk on Nolan just edges ahead of Thackeray, who's kind of almost trapped on the inside. She's not boxed, of course. This is a road race. She hasn't got anyone to her outside, but this is a significant move from Walk on Nolan. She's now got a meter or two as we come into the crowd. She's gonna hear some noise, the claps are coming. And that is a significant move indeed. Look at this. She's put her foot down now. She looks supreme, does Walk on Nolan. And this is Olympic class. This is Olympic pedigree. She's reached the highest heights in the sport. And she's looking here to take home a nice little paycheck indeed. So. We're just bending round one of the final bends, the track on the right hand side, the famous Belgrave track. We're probably going to be back here in April for the comeback 5000. But look at this now, I'll just pan back and look at the gap, show you the gap. Thackeray, 20 or 30 meters behind. And into the finish, she's going to hear, here come the crowd. She made her move two, 300 meters or so, and it has been massive. She hasn't let off the gas the whole way. She eyes up the corner now. She's gonna be able to enjoy the home straight, although she may have one gla glance up at the clock. Because like I said, that course record is 15.50 by Holly Archer in 2021. And that was set in September, so it's been a year or so. Will she get near that? Walcott Nona, I'm sorry, I can't give you any official times at the moment, but we're on the home straight away. She's gotta keep it on. Got a terrific gap now. She's got 30 or 40 meters on Callie Thackeray, who did all the early running. She's just stumbled a little bit. Brilliant work, Reve, let's go. She's came here to do a job, and the job she's done. She's got the win wrapped up. How much money is she gonna take home tonight? Will it be a thousand? Will it be 1,500? She's gonna head all the way to the finish. Callie Thackeray there. I can't see who's back in third. 
Got to run all the way. What have we got on the clock? Here comes Zachary, a terrific run from her. She did all the early running. Third place is going to be Georgia Greg. And let's Kidja, Greg, all the way into the line. Kidja's right on her tail. It's Amy Griffith who's come through. Megan Davies out there as well. Terrific run by her.